Hi students, how you doing? Did you have a fun weekend? I know it was quite rainy, so I hope you had something fun to do, like played board games or video games, and I hope you connected with your family as well. It's important to be strong together through these hard times. Um, anyway, I posted a new uh, assignment. The assignment, it will be the IBD summative assignment. So we'll be finally be wrapping up IBD, which I would have liked to have done a long time ago, but despite certain situations, you know, life is not extremely realistic right now. So anyway, we're going to finish the IBD summative assignment where you will uh, talk about a topic you care about through an art piece. So you can pick an art piece. Um, it could be poetry, it could be music, it could be photography, it could be, um, you know, like a drawing or like graffiti, anything that you like to do that's creative. So like how Espada talks about bilingualism, sort of how people are prejudiced against those who are bilingual, also how it's not necessarily accessible for everybody. He uses poetry in his essay to um, make these statements. So again, you'll be creating a piece of art to make statements, at least two statements, about a topic that you care about. So if you did the journaling prompts assignment last week, there was four topics to pick from that kind of got your mind thinking about how you thought about those things. Now you don't have to continue on with that topic. You could choose a totally different topic, but some of the topics I put were like uh, nature, money. Uh, another one was um, laws and that you can relate that to policies. So any of those kind of topics that kind of get your brain thinking, like how does it affect you and what you care about? And then how can you make a statement through an art piece the way that Espada, again, uses poetry to make a statement about bilingualism? So again, I want you to write a prompt, um, sorry, a response, which is like 300, 400 words um, related to the art piece that you create. So again, this is not necessarily due this week. This will be something that you'll be working on for the next couple of weeks before we move on to a new unit. So this is something we'll be working on in the next couple of weeks. So again, in your prompt, you also want to probably include some facts to back up your topic and how that relates to two like statements that you're trying to make related to that topic. So if you do not do the journaling prompts assignment last week, work on that so you can start to get your brain working and thinking about a topic you care about and then thinking about what kind of art would you use to be able to make a statement um, or to show a statement based on the topic you picked. So also if you didn't do the journaling prompts, do also the assignment before before that, Dear Montefiore Panim by Kathy Jetnil Kidner, which also makes helps you look at it in another artist and how she uses her style of poetry um, to be able to talk about, you know, the environment and her family. So look over those two assignments before you start working on the final summative assignment for closing up this IBD assignment. Again, if you have any questions about the current assignments that I posted or the assignments from the previous week, you can email me anytime from 9 to noon tomorrow. And if you want to set up a time to chat, check in with me. And I will be um, updating your grades and sending out individual emails for, for some of you that I talked about maybe doing an alternative assignment so we can get you passing this semester. All right. Have a great Monday and hopefully you get some work done. Bye.